Hello, oh, I love YouTube. Um, I want to show you today um, how to work with the user control as a repeater, which means that uh, I can use it uh, to um, display records or from database or from any um, uh, list. Um, for example, I have a student list here with uh, uh, several fields, and this um, this is a link you search that I can. Uh, uh, search people around the age. I have uh, several people here, and it's dynamically listed um, using a user control. And I will show you from a, a project that I built already, because it's faster than uh, typing the entire project like uh, everyone does, and I'm not so good at it. Um, so let, let's see how, how I, I build it. First of all, um, as usual, I have a document in the Git repository that uh, explain uh, the steps if you want to follow and let's go over the source code <laughs> so first of all we need to create two two projects one is the um, is the main phone is a Windows uh, Windows phone con uh, phone application the Windows phone application has a um, uh, a dialog uh, window, a form, and a panel. Okay, this is a panel. Uh, uh, we have a text box for search and uh, a label. <coughs> so, to create a user control, we have several options. One, we can add a user control here into the uh, Windows Form application itself. <coughs> Another option that uh, I like to do is to create a class library, a new class library. We call go ahead, add projects, <coughs> and create um, um, a class library, okay? And to this class library, we add a reference of uh, system Windows forms because it's the initial, the class library doesn't uh, contain the Windows form. <coughs> so we add a Windows form and then we also add a user control to it. Um, of course, we need to add a reference to the uh, application of this user control that we uh, created as a class library. And then we have a two, two applications, an application and DLL, a class library, which is a DLL. The class library um, uh, and the user control contains the fields of uh, of our student class. Okay, we have a student class. We have a first name, last name, age, mail, and if it's like sport or not. So we have only one um, a records here, and it's very easy eventually to display it uh, as a list. So what we are doing <coughs> in the Windows form itself, okay? We create statically the list, but the idea is that this is uh, actually a record that can come from a um, from database, MySQL, SQL, MongoDB, from whatever you want, and you could do a search with uh, link you with uh, SQL queries and return the the list you want. <coughs> and so I added here several um, uh, students into my student list. So eventually, I like to do this. Um, okay, so that doesn't work. Um, so it's very easy. Okay, we add um, the initialization here in the form itself. We get in a DB, in a DB, and how do we build the students inside um, the list? This is the function. <coughs> but how do how do the easy way to do it? is just 
um, take this um, user control here okay go to the sources go to the sources F12 and take the the user control definition from here this is much faster than uh, write it your own so after we do it we can delete it from here and this is exactly what I did in the add student function <coughs> in the so I add uh, I go over the list with a for each create a user control add it to the panel and increment the height of uh, my panel and my um, my form and I add one function that called add student that um, pass the student itself to the uh, user control and this is very simple is only taking the student uh, class and display it on the uh, text box and the checkbox on the user control <coughs> so running this application okay we display the entire list dynamically on my phone so the next steps is to create <coughs> sorry is to create um very robust application we can create if we our database contain um, lots lots of uh, of um, um, uh, data set uh, lots of uh, rows um, we can filter it by um, by any SQL um, uh, query that returns uh, 20 records per, per a, a window and we can do next next and uh, create more queries more complicated this so I created a very simple query using link you here and when the user type on the uh, text box change so just double click here I have the event text box change this is my query I take the age and filter the um, the result so what I'm doing I just after I got the result I transfer it uh, from I enumerable to to list and clear the controls and build the student again where the student is receiving the list so once I call it um, at the beginning with the entire list and the second time I call it it with um, with a partial list that is filtered by my query so the result is very nice uh, I can create I have for example two people above age 40 um, three people above uh, above age 30 and it's working very fast and very easy and uh, <coughs> the queries can be online go to the database so the queries can be um, you can, can you get you could get, uh, get all the data and do queries or locally on the on the memory on the list whatever you want but the idea of a uh, dynamic repeatable this is in such in uh, some application call it a repeater um, so hope, hope you like it um, I, I use it a lot in many applications um, every time I want to display a GUI which is dynamically um, uh, that dynamically have data and um, that's it that's it thank you very much and uh, bye bye